delivered games. What's up guys, it's Love and I'm back with another squad builder. Um, and basically, yeah, you can see what I've made here. It's a, uh, a hybrid of some sort. Um, it's quite a cheap hybrid to make, apart from one player, which is that right winger. But uh, we'll get into that in a sec. But in goal, we have Steve Mandanda, uh, a great keeper. Um, he's not been performing as well this, this season in real life, but on this game, he does an absolute job. And yeah, you can't really go wrong. And then right back, we've got Mariano, all about the pie. 88 pace, I think, um, which is cracking. Uh, and that's basically all he's going to be used for. Uh, then Eric Abidal, you know, left back turn centre back, left passer, now he's playing for Monaco, but he's an absolute tank, can't wait to use him. Um, and then next to him, we have Philippe Mexes. Um, I love the Mexes. I'm stunned he hasn't got higher skill moves, you know, that over kick scored in the Champions League last year. You know, deserves better. It really does. And then next to him, we've got the left back, Kevin Constant. Um, there's only actually two gold left backs in Serie A, I think, so. That's why I had to pay a bit for him. 1,300 for a non-rare left back. I mean, a bit of a stitch, but there you go. And then centre mid, we got Shao Martino, uh, fantastic footballer. She just joined AS Monaco this season, so uh, he's easier to hybridise now because he's in a slightly better league. But next to him, we got Marvan Martin, who's purely there for chemistry. Um, he's not very good, to be honest, but for chemistry reasons, he's in there and hopefully he will do a job. And then next to him, we got Paul Pogba. Um, I don't like him, but I think he's a prick because he's a Man United fan. But, uh, He's a fantastic football and I can't get away from that. And he's in my team. And he will do a job though. I hope. And then right wing, we've got Nanny. Um, had to fork out 16 grand for him. But he's a fantastic footballer in and hopefully he will do an absolute job. Um, I can't wait to use him. Didn't get to use him last year, so I'm looking forward to using him this year. And that'll do us. And then up front, we've got the genius, which is Nicholas Anelka. Or Nicola and Elka, as some might say. One shot, one goal, is all that's required for him, and that'll do, do me all sorts. He's got Hunter on just to give him that bit of extra pace and a bit of extra shooting. And then left wing, we've got Griezmann, and basically what I'm going to do is when they go into a game, we're going to swap him and Nanny, click swap wings, so then they can both cut inside and shoot. And I can't wait to use both of them cut inside on their strong foots because they're going to absolutely rinse for me, and that'll do us. Um, and then the gaffer is that man, Arsene Wenger. Um, got quite a few French blokes in the team, so. Made sense really, and a couple of Premier League players. But uh, straight into the game we went, come up against this bloke. Um, he had a, a sweaty sort of French team, you know, beer beyond in there. But uh, it was actually him who took the lead, and his skull was absolute filth. This is a typical goal that I can see on FIFA, look at this. Nah, I'm not having that. Fucking filth. It's a disgusting goal. I couldn't prevent that anyway whatsoever. Uh, just ridiculous, but uh, you know, we thought we could get back in the game then. And then Goofran scored that, and I was just like, well, really? Goofran? I mean, I'm stunned. He's not that good. I don't know if anyone watches Max today, but uh, I have a book, ladies and gents. But uh, I found myself 2 0 down, and I was absolutely stunned, to be honest. So we had to get our way back into the game, and Griezmann cut inside on that left foot, as I said, swapping wings, and that's what he does. Scores goals on that strong left foot, you can't stop him. You know, he just cuts inside, picks his spot, and finishes well. And you've got his team right back in the game. And the keeper did tempt me into shooting there, and I probably should have scored the Griezmann. Um, but there you go, I'm a bit wasteful. And then Goufran scored a header, and I was just like, really? Goufran's got a hat trick against me. Goufran. Stunned. So once again, found myself going back to the drawing board, thinking, what the hell can we do here? And then the keeper helped us out. Gave it to Griezmann, and all he had to do was tap, and that's what he did. 3 2, back in the game once again, just before half time. And it was crucial as well. Um, I don't actually know what he was trying to do with his keeper at all, uh, but uh, I'm not going to complain, because I'll take the goal, and that'll do. Do us and do And then Griezmann kills and crumbs again. And probably should have scored that one as well. It was just wide. It's a great effort with his left foot. And then now Alka picks it up here and just strokes it into the, the bottom corner on the stroke of half time. And uh, we were right back in this game, 3 3, all to play for now. Momentum was with us, so we didn't really want half time to be honest. You know, we came at a bad time. But uh, it was 3 3 at the break, and uh, we knew we had to do. It's going out second half. And, performance but uh, this Molo boat found himself away, Love Mandanda and 
was 4-3 and once again was behind and I could not believe it. I mean he executed the lob pretty well to be fair to him. He didn't really bring Mandanda out that far. But uh, disappointing. Mandanda could have tracked back or done something, you know, he's just a no man's down there. And uh, yeah, 4 3, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Then we were causing problems again here though. And he gave a penalty. You know, I was I was stunned, to be honest. I was concentrating on the ball. Didn't even look at what happened with Nanny. But he gave a penalty for that. And uh, I gave a penalty to Nanny. And I actually meant to go bottom right corner. It went like sort of down the middle, you know, when you hold on the analog stick and it doesn't go where you want it to go. That happened to me, and luckily it went in, because if I did go where I wanted to go, the keeper would have saved it. So, uh, yeah, got a bit lucky there. But, uh, I deserved a bit of luck after the first goal conceded. I mean, that bullshit was there for all to see. It's 4 4, back in the game again. This time, it could be capitalised. Yes, we could, and Elka onside. Good finish. That's what he's all about. You give him one chance, you give him a sniff, and he will score goals. You know, he hasn't got the most pace, but if you give him that time and space just to get a shot away, he will punish you. And that's what he did. You know, I love Nicholas and Elka so much. Look at this. Couple of touches, sets himself. Keeper's got no chance. He's got no chance. And it's 5 4, and it's now we're starting to take command of this game. You know, there's all sorts going on there. Probably should have scored. And Nanny causing problems down the left hand side. Picks out Kevin Constant on the overlap. And Elka with a cheeky back heel and Griezmann with the finish and it was just sublime. 90th minute, secures that win and gives us you know, gives us a breather there. I mean, a one goal lead going into the last couple of minutes of the game is never easy. So Griezmann did his job well there. Just tapped. It was 6-4 and that's how it finished. And it was an entertaining game to say the least, but uh, you did get the three points eventually and that's crucial. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave with some highlights of other goals we've got with this team now. Um, and yeah, comment or do whatever you want if uh, you've made this team. If you like it, you know, give it a like. Um, check it out on Twitter, you know, you could alter it yourself. But um, yeah, cheers for watching guys and uh, I'll see you soon. Talk about